Today we get creative with tripods. Tripods or sticks are some of the most useful things that you can have in your gear signal. But their obvious uses are not the only things that make them great. With a little extra thought, you can get creative and pull off a ton of different uses out of your stoic camera holder. But before we jump into those tips, if you missed it, I put a promo video up to let you guys know that I'm gonna be teaching an hour long class on September 13th. It's completely free to watch live and it's a part of Cine Summit, which is a 13 hour long two day filmmaking event. One of the speakers is Academy Award winner, Roger Christian, who is the dude that made the lightsaber. So there's that. We have a link in the notes. So definitely click on that to check out the video and get all the info you need. So do that and now back on topic. The first trick is an incredibly simple one that you may have heard before. If you need to do a very slow and subtle move, it can be difficult to get the shot as smooth as you want, especially with starts and stops in your pans and tilts. For things like this in Hollywood, you would use a gearhead with the wheels to get the silky smooth movement, but since we don't have that LA money. We'll just use rubber bands. I'll set the drag on the head of my BB-6 to the strength that I like. Then I'll attach a rubber band to the handle and do the moves this way. Doing it like this gets your hands away from the handle and lets the rubber band act as a sort of shock absorber to help get nice and smooth moves, especially with stops when you just let the rubber band come to rest. We actually used a version for this for an unused shot in my film, UFO Yeah. Originally, we had a shot of the webcam that Ned was talking to. It was an extreme close up of that. So getting that smooth motion was really tricky until we pulled out the rubber bands. Moving on to another overly simplistic trick, again, to help you get smooth movement, but this time with just your tilt. Let gravity do the move for you. Loosen the lock on the tilt and let the weight of your camera pull it in the direction that you wanted to go. Then tighten the lock or just touch the handle to act as a break for the move. Of course, you're gonna need to adjust your drag to get the speed that you want for the move you're trying to pull off. Then if we grab a lightweight tripod like my Benro Aero 7, we can do one of my favorite tricks, which I've used the most, and that is the tripod steady cam. You can do this with any tripod, but one like this works best because it's light and I can position the legs out like this for a lot of stability. So I just configure the tripod in the best way to get a nice balanced weight on the bottom, then use it like you would a steady cam. This works extremely well. Here's an example without the tripod steady cam trick, just handheld and then one with. It definitely looks like I'm purposefully trying to make the before shot shakier, but I'm not. Where we were walking was on an angle and I was wearing flip flops, which stop hating the thongs for your feet and it's sexy. Another great thing about doing it this way is that you can stabilize the image further in post much easier than if it was just fully handheld. With handheld, especially using cameras like the a7S, your hands are very close to the sensor and it causes a lot more jitter and distortion. So when you try to stabilize, you get much more obvious and often warped end results. Since it's much more smooth this way, I can throw on warp stabilizer and get a really clean image like so. You can also flip this whole thing around and get nice low shots either following the character's feet or looking up at them, then go through the same warp stabilizer process and flip that image in post, and we have this. Moving on, we'll take the same tripod and brace them against our body and hold the legs while pulling them towards you to stabilize. Then have someone else frame you up and check focus, and then you're free to walk around to get this very poor man's version of a snorri cam. You've seen this type of effect in a bunch of films, especially from Darren Aronofsky. This is something that would be a harness attached to the actor, but beggars can't be choosers. So if you don't have the gear and you're looking to get this sort of effect, this is a simple and pretty effective way to cheat it. And similar to what we showed in another episode, you could take this further by tracking and stabilizing the shot to your actor's face for an even trippier effect like this here. Trick number six, we have the tripod dolly. This is another crazy simple and effective idea. This one works better with a more weighted tripod like the Benro BV-10, but you could do it with any tripod. You just raise one of the legs of your tripod and pivot the whole system between the other two legs. You can get nice smooth pushes in and out or pan while moving for some dutches as well. When you do the move, the tripod rises up and then sort of down again through the movement. So you have to keep that in mind, but if used well, you can get some really solid shots out of it. This one is basically the same as six, so it's really more like 6.5. You can get very jib-like shots just by extending those two legs that we were using as high as they can go, then add something to stabilize them, like some sandbags or a friend's foot. Then you can do the same sort of movement, but with more height to it to get that jib-like move. But make sure you're stabilizing those legs or it will slip on you. Next is the top-down shot. You see this constantly nowadays with reviews, vlogs, and of course in films. The best way to do it right, of course, is rigging it properly, but 
if you don't have the right tools, you can secure your tripod to a ladder. Use some rope or bungees to strap it down and then some sandbags to secure it further. And there you go, that's it. Now you can get some solid top-down shots. Then we have the jump over shot like this. You see this in a lot of sports films or commercials and it's really easy to pull off. Just grab something like some Apple boxes and lay your tripod on that, like my BV6 here. I'll take the handle off, lay it down, then secure it there with some sandbags. Now we'll unlock the pan and have our talent run towards the camera and then jump right over it and we'll spin in place to follow that action. After a few takes, you'll end up with something that has a nice stylistic feel. But that's it for today. Again, make sure you get that info for Cine Summit. It's two days of crazy good filmmaking educational goodness. So check that out and I'll see you next week when my vision is so bad I can't see if money got him or not.